Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be doing a comparison, and you're going to be seeing a lot of comparison videos. So the reason because is because there's a lot of guitars that I plan on selling. Hopefully, this upcoming weekend, uh, I'm going to be doing a garage sale. There's going to be a guitar show I plan on going to. So there's a lot of guitars that I may be getting rid of and might not, no longer have. So I need to do a video about them, of course, before I sell them. So today we're going to be comparing a Gibson Les Paul Standard. This is a 2000 Les Paul Standard. Uh, mahogany body, maple top, maple neck, rosewood fretboard, 490R, 498T pickups. Yes, I know you you were expecting burst buckers, but this particular year, the 2000 Gibson Les Paul Standard, uh, they did not have the burst buckers yet. We're going to be comparing that to another guitar I plan on selling, the 2018 Gibson Les Paul Studio Faded very similar specs. Uh, this one has Grover tuners. The, the Faded has the Cluson style deluxe tuners. Uh, I, the pickups are actually the same. Uh, the body thickness, the body thickness of the standard is going to be a little bit thicker than the body thickness of the Faded Studio. Uh, the pickup covers are different and then the neck material. I think I previously in a video I said the neck, neck material was mahogany for the Faded. It's actually maple from what I looked into. Uh, also, this is not weight relieved. If it is, it's the Swiss cheese style nine hole where that is modern weight relieved. We're going to just do the clean channel, we're going to do the crunch channel, and we're going to do the overdrive on the PV6505 Plus as always, running through the Carbon 400 watt 4x12. Also, as always, recorded with a Google Pixel Pro 7. Uh, and the external, I got an external microphone hooked into the phone, which is where you're getting the sounds from. So let's go ahead. Everything's going to be on 10 also on the guitars, the tone and the volume. We are going to start in the neck position. kind of things when we get to the crunch and overdrive. But next we're going to do the middle and, uh, sorry, both pickups together, neck and middle. Studios, this guitar will sound very familiar to you. Neck position. Also, I'm using a V pick traditional light, I believe it's 1.5 millimeters. The one I'm picking. <laughs> Just the bridge. 
crunch channel, we're going to be starting in the neck position. I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit on the guitar, roll it back to maybe a 5 because I did notice that the cleans were a little bit harsh when I was uh, cranking all the way at 10. So we're going to do about a 5 here. See what that sounds like. <laughs>
to the studio in the neck position on the overdrive. <laughs> between a Gibson Les Paul Studio and a Gibson Les Paul Standard. Look-wise, Studio, through Standard, sorry, Standard <laughs> through. The Studio is very, very nice. It's got some pretty figuring, but I, I'm just not a big fan of dots, dot and lace on a Les Paul. Not, no, not, uh, you, you gotta have the trapezoids. It's, I mean, it's a given. You gotta have those trapezoids going on. Uh, Weight-wise, yeah, faded. It's a lot lighter. Sound-wise, they're the same pickups. In all honesty, subtle differences. Very subtle differences. I like the neck. So this is more of a 60s neck, where the standard's more of a 50s-style neck. I like the neck of the 50s a little better. It's a little bit more comfortable. I feel like I'm a little scrunched here. Just, I feel like I don't have enough room where the 50s, you know, it's bigger. It gives me that little extra uh, couple of centimeters or whatever the heck it is. But uh, both great playing guitars. Tuner-wise, I like Grover's better than Clusons. You know, that, that, is, that is what it is. But uh, they both sound great. You know, I'm going to be doing more comparisons. So uh, let me know your thoughts, comments down below, subscribe button, all of that. Uh, so the other comparisons I'm going to be doing because I may be selling the instruments is the two bases behind me. I have an Ebiphone Thunderbird and an Ebiphone Th T Thunderbird Pro. I'm going to be comparing those two. I'm also going to be comparing the standard to the upgraded Epiphone Les Paul standard. So that has Seymour Duncan pickups in it back there. Those are two more comparison videos that I want to get uh, out of these guitars while I have them. Um, the other guitars I'm, that I may also be selling, 
uh, they, I think I've done videos of them before. Um, may or may not decide to sell some. So, I mean, it's something where I don't need to, I, well, the fact of the matter is I don't need to sell anything. It's a space issue. So uh, all my guitars stay in this primary room here. And when I get more than like 10 of them, uh, it starts to get a little bit cramped. You know, I got, I got to start walking around everything. So if I get a bigger place to live, <laughs> maybe we'll keep all of them. But uh, at the moment, I need a little bit of room, so some of them are going to have to go, and I'm hoping I can get rid of a few of them, you know, for a decent price. You know, I'm not going to be giving them away, but at the same time, they're going to be a halfway decent deal, because if I purchase it at a decent deal, I will pass that on to the next person, you know. I will give them a little bit of decent deal. As long as I'm breaking even or making a couple hundred dollars, not a huge deal. Other than that, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button on your way out, and as always, have a good one.